Alright guys, today I'm going to be cleaning a little bit, they made a mess, I moved some birds over here, some foster birds, so I'll be cleaning all this up. some hay that way it doesn't get very dirty some babies in here pretty good for now just so it's easier to clean and so it's not as cold because I have greater floor on the sides here's three small ones I put on the ground so um they can get more food. Here's a smaller one in here. Ooh, they're trying, they're trying to fight me. Hi, little baby. Ooh. All right, time for this side. I like to leave um, leave it like this so the babies can build um, a natural immunity. Because when they're young, they need to build that immunity. <sighs> well, time to clean. Adding some hay because I have some birds in here that might, uh, might be breeding and they might be uh, laying hay. And also, uh, just so the young, the, the babies, the young birds have a, 
have something to step on. It's an easier to play next time. open this door for a little bit let some air come in all right put this here make sure air can go through this is the poop for fertilizer and compost birds are looking good I did this so um I left I left the space so um, it doesn't fall through the mesh <clears throat> that way the um the breeders in here can build their nest This is how curious they are. Alright, All right, let's give them some food. Come on, 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 piece of wood in case the um, young birds can't reach the water so they can step on it.
All right, guys, I'm going to show you guys some young birds. Um, and I'm going to tell you guys what I think about them. This is off of um, Blue Phoenix. He's a, uh, I think this is gonna, going to be a cock, a male. It has a very nice tail. Look at that. Just like his father. The only thing is that the bone right here is a little crooked from um, the nest bow because uh, maybe it was laying on the edge. This is uh, my second bird that has something wrong with the um, keel bone. The other one isn't um, that bad, but this year um, we decided to use the ceramic nest bows instead. Last year I used um, just the dog bows. Check out this bird. Very nice. <sighs> All right. Here's the other bird that I was talking about. It has a little dent. If you can see it, a little dent right here. You can feel it. <sighs> you can't see it, but you can feel it. But this bird is very nice. This bird is off of my foundation hen. This one is two six two six zero two three. I was thinking about um, sending this bird to Martinez or somewhere in California, but I decided that I'll be sending this bird to. Um, Florida Derby instead because I like these two nest me a lot. We look at the wing, look at the wing. The last three, very nice gap. We're even. The steps are not too bad. Check out the tail. Very nice. Balance down a little bit. Other side of the wing, very nice. And this bird also has um, one length in between from the queue to the vent. And this vent bone, <coughs> <coughs> this vent bone is very tight. Sorry guys, I've been um, having runny nose a couple days now. And my throat hurts a little bit, but these are things that we have to do and check up on our birds all the time. I check my birds at least um, two, three times a day. But look, look at this bird. Very nice. Vitality. This one is two six zero two three. <laughs> All right, I'll show you guys the um, nest mate. I like the nest mate too. I forgot to mention that these are off of Spartan King and Holy Grail Queen. These two are um, pretty nice. So they're going to Florida Derby. Same type of wing, very nice. Last three are very gappy, very nice ventilation, and it's even. And and the last three are thin, so it's very nice. This one doesn't have the um the the um bent or or dent bone but it, it handles as nice as the other one.
This one is 2622. 2622. 2622. Got the balance. Very nice. Doesn't go down all the way, but goes down a little bit. Very nice. Vitality. I forgot to show you guys, but most of Hollow Girl Queens or all of them have the um, vibration in their wing. Even the grandkids, I see it a lot. I guess it's not showing. Shaking a little bit. All right, next one. All right, this one is um, sibling to Big Boss that I sent to Minnesota Classic recently. This is off of um, Never Quit with X20. This bird is very nice. Look at it, look around a lot. That's how you can tell if this bird is cautious of its surrounding and a smart trait. And this bird does not like to be held in the beak or nose at all. Overall, I like this bird a lot as well. It is the same quality as the um, sibling that I sent. But I'm waiting for the other birds the other young birds to be ready so I can take these down to Texas for um, Kiwis Classic and VGR black and gold race. I'm still debating. Um, I'm still debating if I want to send um, my other two birds that are about to be weaned to um, Martinez or Texas Dash for Cash. Most likely I'll go for um, Texas dash for cash because it's um down there anyways so i might as well do one trip and send all my birds and also that will be my first time being a one-off race so it'd be nice to see how it looks like if i can here's the tail it's okay if it fans out a little bit like this as long as as long as it goes down because when they get older, it might become like stronger and tighter. Because, um, so this one is off of Never Quit. And Never Quit had her tail like that too a little bit. As a young bird. But as she got older, um, she had um, a stronger tail, stronger back. But yeah. Bird has uh, one finger length in between and also um, very tight vents. But yeah, it's a bigger bird, so I'm take I'm sending this one to Texas. Here is um another bird. This one is off of X20 and Holy Grail Queen. This one looks a lot like um, the one I just showed. They are half siblings. This 
software does not like being handled. You have to wait for it to calm down a little bit. But yeah, pretty nice Vitality too. I like that a lot when they do that. When they wiggle a lot and hard. Right. Looking to the um, right of me, so it's turning its tail, but a very nice tail as well. This bird is um, one finger length and very tight vents as well. Alright, this bird will show you guys the vibration. See that? Let's show this way. this bird back here's the next one this is the sibling to the um, one I just showed earlier it is off of Holy Grail Queen and X20 this one looks a lot like um, Big Boss they're half siblings Pretty decent wing. This is a very nice tail as well. Goes down a little bit. The tail is not as thick as I would like, but maybe it might change when it gets a little older. Um, the, the keel to the rim bone is is about one finger or a little less and very tight vent this bird doesn't have that much vitality as the other one but it shows a little bit still Alright guys, I'm going to be showing you guys the birds inside here now because it's a little dark now out there. Here is a very nice small bird. This one is off of um, Fourth YM1 in 2068. They're small very smooth silky feathers very nice tail down the Q bone the vent to the Q is about one finger or though yeah one finger vent bone is pretty decent it's not open or very tight but it's close enough pretty nice vitality here is the nest mate to that one both same quality very nice as well. Check out the wing. Very nice.
check out the wing vibrating like crazy. Oh my goodness. Uh, Kyo and Van Bone is a little bigger than one finger. Van Bone is decent as well. I think um, they have the Van Bone a little open because um, both the parents don't have that type of event. But then they blow good. Here is a grizzle. Blue grizzle. It's looking pretty nice. This one will be going out next week. This one will be going out soon. down or up it's pretty straight I mean it, it got it, it kind of goes up a little bit but who knows could win the vent bone is one finger length open vent here is the nest meat this one i think it's a little bit better it has one finger length and the vent bones they are um, pretty tight nice wing long wing i like long wings because um i think um i think it's better for them when they're flying they can have a uh, stronger strokes very nice tail these two grizzles are mini figos cross with van loon jansen class here is a very nice one. I sent the faux siblings to Midwest Classic already. For some reason, the grandson 348 made it to the double miss crater. The bluebirds, they turn out to be a lot much nicer. And uh, the father is the son, uh, grandson of 348. And it's also a blue bar. The other sibling that I sent, it had a nicer wing, but this bird handle handle is very nice. It's small and it has one finger length and very tight vents. This bird will also be going to a fraternity race. Here is the nest mate to the blue bar. Not too bad also. Very small bird. Pretty strong tail. Yep. The vent bone. That's um kill to vent bone is one finger more. The vent bone is tight though. Pretty nice vitality. Here's a very nice one off of Never Quit and Spartan King. It has a lot of fight in this one. This one I might be sending to um, a fraternity race and the other nest mate maybe to Yamola race. 
very strong back, like its mother never quit. Nice balance. Um, bone to the keel to the vent bone is about one finger length, very tight vents. Nice vitality. There's a nest mate. This one I might send to uh, my one off race to fill up my spot. This one is pretty nice. It fights a lot. It fights a lot in the hand. Nice, nice tail. See that? A very really strong back and tail like its mother. The keel bone is one finger length and very tight vents. Very nice vitality like its mother. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, a comment, and please subscribe. It would help me a lot.